My name is Ina Kratzenberg. I'm the Chief Business Officer for a company called Ginkgo Bioworks. We're located in Boston in the United States. Our company was founded about 10 years ago in 2008, and our mission is to make biology easier to engineer. We are what we would consider a, a platform company. Um, we essentially have a set of tools that enable our partners to utilize biology uh, in a way that is beneficial to their business. We have about 50 different programs in development. Um, we work with over 20 different partners and we work uh, across many different industries and sectors. Um, we're really excited about the possibilities of biology and we believe it's a key form of science that will underpin a lot of exciting innovation that's going to happen in the next century. We think, you know, as far as key enabling technologies go, a uh, key part is the rise of digitization, um, the use of automation, the use of cloud computing, the use of high throughput equipment, all that gives us the ability to understand how, how biological systems behave in a way that is completely unprecedented. In addition to all of the full-scale technologies that we heard about earlier today, uh, in terms of um, pretreatment of biomass to um, even post-fermentation separation technologies, all that is, is important and enables the process to be real. Um, what we see right smack in the middle of it is how we actually engineer organisms to mix something in fermentation. And the key enabling technologies from our perspective is what we can actually use to allow us to do that more efficiently and more cost effectively. I think with the key enabling technologies that enable us to utilize biology, we're basically creating a new operating system. So in a way, like the iPhone now has enabled a lot of app developers to develop new apps that are uh, great for us in terms of games we can play or productivity tools that we use. I think of biology in the same way. So I'd like to believe that Ginkgo is, is you know, very much a part of the ecosystem that is driving this operating system into developing into this infrastructure that enables a lot of biology innovation to occur. There are a lot of emerging areas that uh, biology could be used as a tool. So it, uh, we know about biomaterials. We understand that there's a lot that's happening happening in you know, human therapeutics with new modalities like gene and cell therapy. Um, we know there's a lot of things being done in the biosensor area. We know there's a lot of things being done in understanding how we can valorize waste, how we can have a more sustainable world, how we can create technologies that you know, allows us to extract more value from, from the feedstock or recycle certain, certain uh, you know, materials that we've used. All that will be enabled by biology. over the past day and a half, we talked a lot about scale-up challenges. Um, so I think uh, that that's going to continue to exist. We will learn more about what it takes to scale up technology, but it will take a lot of uh, cross-sectional knowledge. It will require a big ecosystem to enable different areas of expertise to bring products to market. Um, consumer acceptance is another big area that we, we absolutely need to be thoughtful about. Um, there are some concerns today about the use of GM and how that uh, may or may not alter the world as we know it. We need to embrace technology advancements and technology developments, um, but also be responsible about what technology can do. I think having um, you know collaborators who can bring in complementary core competencies, having um, uh, partners who believe in uh, launching products that will add value to the world, I think it will take investors who's willing to make the at-risk investment to bring emerging technologies to market. All that is part of the ecosystem that is necessary to bring you know new forms of science and technology advancements to the world. 
I guess one of the exciting things for, for us as a U.S.-based company um, is to actually establish you know, relationships outside of the U.S. So I think for us to really kind of embrace how we can do collectively as a society, we need to go outside of the, the barriers of our own you know, country's borders. So we're excited to be invited to participate in this event and, and you know, I'm, I'm thrilled to be making the, the contacts here um, and to learn about what other people are doing. So it's been, it's been a great event for me.